the government is working to ensure that a strong regulatory framework is in place to govern the emerging oil and gas industry. We are on a, um, a fast-paced uh, approach uh, because Exxon had said to us that they can develop this resource in five or under, uh, years or under. And so by 2020, we hope to start producing. And so some fundamentals have to be put in place. There's the fiscal and taxation side of it, which is the responsibility of the Minister of Finance. He's working over time. I know with his staff, both of the ministry, GRA, Bureau of Statistics, uh, they're working to, to boost capacity and we're getting support from international agencies. Minister Trotman alluded to the work that the Ministry of Public Infrastructure is conducting to ensure that road and onshore infrastructure, as well as the international airports at Tamari and Ogle, are of the required standard. The work of the Maritime Administration, MARAD, was also pointed out. The Ministry of Business is working assiduously to guarantee that there is sufficient local content. That means that Guyanese individuals, partnerships, business, big companies have a stake, have a say in, in this, and so um, I know much work is happening there. He reminded of the critical role of the agencies that fall under the ambit of the Ministry of the Presidency, such as the Department of the Environment, Civil Defense Commission, and the Environmental Protection Agency. Ensuring that um, permits which are sought for environmental um, licenses are properly um, scrutinized, the applications that we issue licenses with strict conditionalities, that is happening. And at the Ministry of Natural Resources, we also are working, we're, we've just finished an overhaul of the Petroleum Act, which is the 1986 Act. We have um, worked with the Ministry of Finance to develop the Natural Resource Fund Bill, which is a sovereign wealth fund. The Ministry of Finance has that and is coming with it late in the year. In 2017, the Petroleum Commission of Guyana was taken to the National Assembly. However, Minister Trotman informed that the bill is being held back to facilitate some changes. To make it more inclusive, it's a national asset not, not to be seen in a partisan way and even though the intention is not for us to control, we don't want that accusation to be made or for it to permeate because this is a national resource. According to the Natural Resources Minister on the legislative front, experts have been hired to boost the ministry's capacity on a wide scale. In relation to preparation for the eventuality of oil spills, the CDC has a draft national response plan and government will soon sign a memorandum of understanding with Trinidad and Tobago.